The Chicago Bears got a generational talent at punter. They just drafted punter Tory Taylor out of Iowa with the 122nd pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. What's going on, guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears draft reaction video, and I have never been this hyped to draft a fucking punter. If you guys have been following my Twitter account over the past couple months, you would know I am a massive Tory Taylor fan. I've watched a lot of Big Ten football. I'm not an Iowa fan, but I'm an Illinois fan, so I get to watch my fair share of Iowa games as well, you know, living living in the region. And when I tell you, man, Torrey Taylor is, is a punter that literally changed games by himself for Iowa. He he did that. That's not even an exaggeration with how bad Iowa's offense was. Iowa quite literally would not have won some games without the help of Torrey Taylor, their punter, pinning opponents inside their 10-yard line, 5-yard line, flipping the field constantly. He's very, very um, you know, consistent, has very good power, very good accuracy too, which is a very underrated skill in punters, the ability to pin the opponent inside that 5-10 yard line. He does it the best I have seen maybe ever in college football. And yes, I know he's a fucking punter, so some fans are not happy about that. But guys, if you wanted an edge rusher in the draft at this stage, there were only rotational guys left, okay? If you wanted a full-time starter, that was only going to be available in round one. And we got Roma Dunsey in round one, right? So I'm not going to be mad at this pick, especially given the current state of the Bears roster. Yes, we could use some more help on the defensive line. But at this point, just sign back Unique Ngakwe, call up a different free agent, right? Like, you're going to address Edge full-time probably next offseason, which is totally fine. We still have enough to have a really good defense right now. The depth is not great on the D-line, but... It is what it is. Like, I'm very happy about this Tory Taylor pick. I did not think that Ryan Poles would do it. Um, I, I wanted him to do it. I was actually tweeting yesterday. I hope, you know, we select this generational punter and we actually freaking did it. And I am so happy we can move off of Trenton Gill now, okay? If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys would know I've been trying to cut Trenton Gill over this offseason in my mock offseason video because he is a terrible punter, okay? I'm sorry. He's a fun guy, fun personality, all that, but he sucks at his job. He's not good at punting. He's bottom five in almost every punting category. Last year, he shanked a couple punts. He, you know, a lot of times just did not get the amount of power, you know, on his punts because he doesn't have the best leg in the world. His accuracy was not that good either, so bye-bye, Trenton Gill. Like, I'm I'm sorry, you know, nice guy and everything, but you were not doing your job well. I'm very, very happy we got somebody now that can probably do his job well at the next level. And make no mistake about it, guys, Tory Taylor could be a bear for 10, 15 plus years. That's how good he is. But let's talk more about what exactly Tory Taylor is going to be bringing to the Chicago Bears. So Tory Taylor is six foot three, weighs 229 pounds, very big guy. He could play linebacker, honestly. In the NFL, he is 26 years old. He's going to be 27 before his rookie season. So he is a little bit on the older side. That's because he did come from Australia. He grew up in Australia, um, eventually went to college at Iowa, obviously. But definitely on the older side. But it does not matter for a punter how old you are, right? Like, he could still be a bear for a long time and punt until he's 40 because punters can keep on going for a long, long time, okay, if they do stay healthy. And... Looking at his stats, guys, they are absolutely fantastic. So last year, he actually set the NCAA record for single-season punting yardage with 4,479. Obviously, with how bad the Iowa offense was, he had to punt a lot and did really good at doing so. If you look at some of the other metrics in terms of punting, so he had seven touchbacks. He had 32 punts landing inside the 20 last year. Average of 48.2 yards per punt, net average of 43.8 yards per punt last year and if you look at prior years some of his stats were even better you know 2022 2021 had even more punts landing inside the 20 and like I mentioned guys he won some games for Iowa all by himself there's a game against Wisconsin last year which Iowa won 15 to 6 absolutely disgusting score but Tory Taylor had 506 yards of punting in that game okay he doubled the output of the Hawkeyes actual offense and in other games you know he's down the opponent inside the 10 yard line after that Iowa's gotten safeties you know to win games in that manner so with how bad their offense was he had to basically carry that team on his back and Iowa fans absolutely loved him he actually won the Ray Guy award as the best punter in the nation and obviously you hope with the Chicago Bears he won't have to be punting that much but in the NFL you can't score a touchdown every single drive there are going to be you know, certain games, certain drives where Caleb Williams maybe struggles or, you know, somebody makes a mistake on the offense. And to have the ability to consistently flip the field like that is extremely important, okay? Punting is a very underrated position, honestly. I know we discount them, but 
having a truly elite punter along with a really good turnover forcing defense which the bears seem to have right now right like we forced a crazy amount of turnovers down the stretch last year that could really put a lot of pressure on our opponents okay if they are pinned back and Montez Sweat is getting pressure off the edge the quarterback gets a little bit antsy he throws ball up to Tyreek Stevenson Tyreek Stevenson returns it for a pick six like we could be seeing a good amount of that next year with how good Tory Taylor actually is at the punter position so yeah I love the pick I don't care what you guys say the Bears needed a punter I'm happy they chose to upgrade that spot because Trenton Gill was not cutting it especially when we're trying to win games now not tank anymore I want a good player at each position and the Bears got one that could be their punter for a long long time to come so let me know what you guys think about this pick in the comments down below and this is the Bears last pick they have in the 2024 NFL draft unless they trade back up which they very well could but it's clear that Ryan Poles did not really like this draft beyond you know round three round four because he traded away a lot of his you know picks that he had and the one pick that he did have on day three, he used on a punter, right? So like that shows the weakness of this draft after day one, day two, which I think I agree with. Like a lot of draft analysts have, have agreed with that, that there wasn't really good depth in this year's class. But the good news is, is that next year we have a lot of picks to make up for players we aren't drafting this year, right? Like next year we have an extra second round pick via the Carolina Panthers, the trade, the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, we still have a second round pick coming from them next year. We probably are going to be getting another third round pick from Ian Cunningham getting hired to be a GM elsewhere. I think he finally gets a shot next year. So the Bears could have, you know, an extra third round pick. We could be having an extra fourth round pick if Justin Fields plays at least 50% of the snaps next year for the Steelers, which if that doesn't happen, we have an extra sixth round pick, right? So the Bears have a lot of picks next year where I'm not too worried about this draft only having you know, four players so far, right? And our roster is looking pretty damn good right now. Like, as currently said, I think the Bears could win 10 games next year, okay? If Caleb Williams does not have too much of a rookie learning curve, like, we could win a lot of games with how this roster is set up and with our schedule being pretty easy next year. So it's going to be a very, very fun time to be a Bears fan. I'll be back with more hype videos coming out soon. I'll probably make a hype video for Tory Taylor as well. Yes, a punter hype video because of how pumped I am to get him. But leave your comments down below, guys. As always, bear down.